Level 0. We left it open. This level means no hacker is needed. You exposed something by mistake and the internet found it. It happens when a cloud folder is set to public, a test site stays online, or a VPN login has no second step. You'll spot it when strangers share links to your private files or internal pages show up in Google. Do this now. List everything you expose to the internet, lock the default settings, turn on made public alerts and add a second step code, tab or key to every external login. It's boring and it works. Level 1. Try every key. This level is low skill guessing at scale. Attackers try common or leaked passwords everywhere until one works. It shows up as password spraying, stuffing old breach passwords and admin slash admin on dusty panels. The pattern is loud. Lots of wrong tries, then a lucky hit. Fix it fast. Use a password manager so every password is unique. Turn on phishing resistant two-step login. Disable old login methods that can't do two-step and rate limit sign-ins so try everything becomes try somewhere else. Level 2. Fake login trap. This level is scams that steal your session, not just your password. It happens with perfect looking login pages, push approval spam that wears you down and shiny apps asking for big permissions. You'll notice new devices appearing, secret mail forwarding rules and apps with oversized access. Counter it by giving admins security keys or pass keys, blocking random apps from getting powerful permissions, challenging new devices and odd locations, and sweeping inbox rules weekly. Golden rule, never sign in from a link, type the site or let your manager open it. Level 3. Pay or bleed. This level is professional crime. Steal first, lock later, charge twice. It starts when someone buys access, moves sideways and quietly copies data. Then they encrypt files and drop a note. The timeline rhymes. Backups touched first, shadow copy swiped, then mass file renames and the ransom demand. Build for bad days. Keep free copies of data in two places with one offline or immutable. Segment the network so one laptop can see the whole kingdom. Limit service account power, patch the internet facing edge first and practice restores. A backup you can't restore is just an expensive sticker. Level 4. Ghost Operator This level is quiet intruders who use your own tools so alarms don't ring. They take small steps, work at odd hours and blend into normal activity. You catch them by behavior, not signatures. A new legit scheduled task, an admin tool where it shouldn't be, or logins that look valid but feel wrong. Your edge is eyesight and keys. Eyesight means detailed logs, what ran, who ran it, when, and the sense of normal, per user and per machine. Keys mean tiered admin, so crown jewel accounts never touch the open internet, hardware-backed credentials, allow listing on critical servers, and rotating sensitive secrets on a schedule. Level 5. Trusted update turned evil. This level attacks your trust. The software updates, plugins, build tools and connected services you rely on. It looks official and can run for months because the traffic is approved. You'll see an update behaving unlike your team, an integration reading far more data than usual, or data flowing to places you've never dealt with. Defend trust itself. Review who and what has powerful access and keep a real off switch. Require approval for apps that want big permissions. Sign what you build and verify it end to end. Keep a lightweight list of components you ship and alert on unusual data volumes and strange destinations, even when the traffic is allowed. Before we jump to the next level, ask yourself, how do you protect against hackers regardless of their skill level? Take SIM swap attacks for instance, one of the most effective ways to ruin your life. Attacker ports your number, intercepts your SMS to FA and boom, instant access to your accounts. It's used by script kiddies and pros alike. That's why I'm excited about CAPE, a privacy-first mobile carrier built to protect you at the network layer. Unlike the big telcos that monetize your data, CAPE was designed from the ground up to minimize it. They don't ask for your name, social security number or address, and they auto-delete call metadata after 60 days. They never sell your data. Although currently in beta, CAPE adds real defenses. SIM swap protection secured by a 24-word recovery phrase, enhanced signaling protection to detect slash block SS7 attacks, and encrypted voicemail to keep your 2FA codes and messages private. Bottom line is that if you want protection that goes deeper than apps, start with your carrier. CAPE makes it simple to get started in just a few steps. By the way, I hooked you guys up with a code for 33% off the first 6 months of CAPE. 
Make sure to check out the link in the description to learn more. Level 6. Destructive Operations This level aims to break things, not steal them. It uses wipers that stop machines from booting and tries to jump from office IT into industrial systems that move water, power or production lines. You'll know it's on when multiple sites fail together, restores work and then fail again, and engineering workstations do things they never should. The answer is discipline and drills, hard separation between office and control networks, one-way data gates where possible, clean room rebuilds you've actually practiced, offline gold images, and a paper or offline playbook for the network is down. Decide in advance who can pull the plug. Level 7. Business email takeover. This level is about owning the inbox, not the laptop. Attackers sneak into a mailbox and change money flows. It happens when a fish lands, a weak password gets reused, or a secret mail forwarding rule sends copies to the attacker. You'll notice vendor bank details suddenly change, invoices get updated, or replies look slightly off. Fix it with process, not tech alone. Verify payments on a second channel you already trust. Forbid external auto-forwarding. Require two approvers for new or changed payees and give finance accounts the strongest MFA you have. Level 8. Cloud Account Hijack This level targets your cloud control panel. The attacker gets a key or token and spins up power you pay for. It happens when access keys leak, a role has too much power, or a server hands out credentials too freely. You'll see new cloud resources you didn't create, big egress bills, background crypto mining or sudden permission changes. Defend with least privilege and short lifetimes. Rotate keys, prefer short-lived roles, require MFA for console and API, set guardrails so risky actions need approval, an alert on new admins, new access keys and why is this in the internet storage changes. Level 9. Real-time impersonation, deepfakes and live relays. This level fakes the human, not the computer. The attacker sounds like your boss or IT, or runs a live fake login that relays your codes as you type them. It happens with cloned voice, urgent calls, or support chats that push you to a secure page. You'll notice pressure, secrecy, and weird requests to move the conversation off your normal tools. Stop it with rules you never break. Call back on a number you already have. Use a shared passphrase for approvals. Ban sharing codes in chat or on calls and require a second person to approve high-risk actions like payments or password resets. Level 10. Hardware and firmware persistence. This level hides below the operating system. The attacker lives in routers, firewalls or the boot firmware, so wipes and reinstalls don't clear them. It happens via outdated network gear, side-loaded firmware or devices managed from the open internet. You'll see settings that reappear. Traffic to odd places even after rebuilds, DNS going somewhere it shouldn't, or devices that lag and crash under light load. Defend with trusted routes. Keep network gear on a separate management network, update only with verified firmware, keep a clean gold image, replace hardware you can't trust, and watch for config changes and strange destinations like a smoke alarm for your whole network.